Hey everyone, welcome back to Small Batch Devs. My name is Austin. And I'm Elliot. Today we are gonna be talking about Angular modules. And make sure you stick around to the end because we will be showing you how to lazy load your modules to give your app a little more of a performance boost. So let's get started. So tell me, what are modules? So modules are a grouping of components, services, pipes, or really any other code that builds up one section of your application. Yeah, and these are called feature modules as they encapsulate code for a specific feature of your application. A good example and something to keep in mind while we start talking about this is the app module, which is generated whenever you generate your Angular project for the first time. So tell the people why we'd use modules. So integrating modules into your Angular app can not only help you organize your code by feature, but it will also give you a performance boost with lazy loading. Modularization also keeps feature related code in one place. It's also an easy way to keep some components and services private if they shouldn't be used outside of that module or feature. Modularizing your code can also give your app a performance boost by introducing lazy loading of those modules. Yeah, and by default, modules are eagerly loaded, which means as soon as your app loads, so do all of your modules, whether they're immediately necessary or not. This technique tells your Angular app to only load those feature modules whenever you need them. This speeds up the initial loading of your app as it's not loading all these side features your users might not need right away. And just keep in mind that the bigger your feature modules are, the more of a performance boost your app will get. So let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial portion. Uh, we're going to generate a new module called my module and we're going to include a flag for routing so that it generates its own routing file for this module. Yeah, and the reason you want a separate routing file is again, separation of concerns, especially if you have a lot of routes in your app, it kind of keeps your code cleaner. So the command we're going to run is ngg module my dash module and then dash dash routing as you can see on the screen. Hit that enter button. Hit it. Nice. There you go. Your module has been created. So we're now in our generated module file. And as you can see, there are a few properties in our ng module definition. The first property being the declarations property, which is a list of all the different components, directives, and pipes that belong to this module. The next property is the exports property. And this is a list of all of your declarations that you want to be available for use outside of this specific module. The third property is imports, which allows us to import different components from other modules. The last property is providers, and this is a list of services that the components in your module will make use of. The next thing we're going to do is generate a component for our my module module. We're going to be using the command ngg for generate, c for component, my module slash dashboard. So let's go ahead and generate it. So what it did there is it first generated a component called dashboard, and then it automatically added it to the declarations of our my module module. There it is. There it is. There it is. Nice. Let's call it a day. <laughs> now that we've generated a module and a component, let's go ahead and lazy load that module. We're here in our root routing module, and as you can see, we added a new route, that being the my modules route. And under that, we're using the load children lazy loading function which we just used to import our module that we created that we want to lazy load. And that's really all there is to it. So the my module path that we just added says for any path of my module and after we're going to lazy load the my module module and anything after the my module path in the URL will be deferred to the lazy loaded modules routing file. So this module will actually only be loaded whenever we visit uh, the my module route or any child routes under the my module route. And just so you know, you can lazy load as many modules as you want and you should lazy load as many modules as you can to increase the performance. Let's go ahead and verify that our lazy loading is working. We're in our browser and we open our dev tools and we're on the network tab of the dev tools. And you can see all these files that are being brought in 
and one of the files that won't be in here is our module so if we go ahead and clear this and then click on our button that will take us to our route for our module we will then see that our module is loaded very good Whoa. that's pretty sweet surprise we've got one more performance enhancing trick for you once you've lazy loaded your modules you can use what's called preloading and what preloading does is it tells angular to defer loading your lazy loaded modules while the main app loads so that it's still quick and responsive but once the main app loads and your user can interact with it angular will automatically start downloading your lazy loaded modules in the background and this can help because when a user does visit one of those lazy loaded modules that module will have already been downloaded and is ready to go so it's an even faster experience for your user. So let's go ahead and set it up. The only thing you have to do is in your root routing module, add the line preloading strategy, and then import the Angular module preload all modules. And this sets up everything for you and takes care of it. That is some very proactive lazy loading. Proactive is the way to go these days. It's very ironic. So today we covered Angular modules and what they are and why you should use them. We also showed you how to increase the performance of your app through lazy loading those modules and using the preloading strategy. We hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and also check us out on social media because we're cool and on social media. We're hip. We're hip. We're very hip. Anyways, see you guys. Peace. And just keep in mind that the... <laughs> uh, Get some every time. I like it, but... It, yeah. And just keep in mind that the bigger the your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah.